Women continue to make strides in the workforce. And tonight, Charles Fisher introduces us to a law enforcement pioneer. She has spent 37 years on the force, rising through the ranks to now the first ever female deputy commissioner. But law enforcement was not Ismela davis Alansi first option. I wanted to be a mechanic or a police officer. And so in 1979, when I went to Aaron Bailey, they were doing the Carez Day. And um, I jumped on the bus and went to the police college to take the exam in 79, even though I was in grade 10. When I graduated in 81, I went to ITC Training College, which, was B which is now BTVI. And while I was doing my on-the-job training at um, Ambassador Beach Hotel, I then went to inquire. They were taking in a female squad at the time. And so I joined in 83. Lots of history on her side. Graduated with the first ever all-female squad. At the time when we joined, it was a full squad of 21 females. It was a rewarding experience. Um, going there, none of them I had known, basically. There was just maybe one or two that I had known from Aaron Bailey. A couple of us from Aaron Bailey had joined. Um, we didn't go together, but we ultimately ended up together. Um, and it was a rewarding experience. Um, you know, you met people with varying backgrounds, um, different cultures and, and all of that, and we gelled together. So what was the feeling when she got that call on the promotion to the top level? I can't even describe the feeling March 30th of 2020. Um, it was just amazing. But I'm humbled. I'm humbled that where God has brought me. Um, you know, I, I wish my mom was here to see what, you know, what I became. Because I know I gave her some stress. I gave her some stress. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I, I'm just so humbled by, by, by this experience and, you know, every day I'm trying to balance to be the second in charge and then to, you know, to lead a home. Um, and so, you know, every day I pray for the balance. Many departments come under her leadership. I'm responsible for discipline. So you have the Complaints and Corruption Unit where members of the public can come and make a complaint if they feel that they are aggrieved. I have prosecutions, the Nassau Street Court Complex, the Court Liaison Section that is stationed in the Office of the Attorney General with the, with the Director of Public Prosecution. I also oversee the Senate and the House of Assembly. And I look at the whole issue of the um, pandemic. Charles Fisher. ZNS Network News.